Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, most merciful, most compassionate. All praise be to Allah, sustainer and creator of all. Peace and blessings upon the Prophet Muhammad and all the prophets from Adam to him. A peace be upon them. I will continue with the remainder of our story that we started in our last presentation. This story between Joseph and his guest. His guest basically said to Yusuf, I have brought a mirror for you to behold your beautiful face. Indeed, Joseph was a most handsome person. Allah Almighty granted him such a magnificent, charming beauty that though he was a slave and maid, he had captivated the attention of ladies, especially the queens, Zulayhais. The mirror in the physical sense is a reflector of the physical beauty, of the face, of the looking. But in a much deeper sense, and particularly in the sense Mevlana Muhammad Jalaluddin used here, is not tangible mirror per se. It is the first and foremost of heart. Of course, this story, meaning Kalp, has a, a layers of understanding. Like a, one by one, we can uncold the mysteries of the story. And we can give in detail philosophical and metaphysical that is to be left for maybe another presentation. But for us, moral and spiritual lessons we are concentrating. Without dwelling on philosophical and metaphysical side much, I will share my reflections on its moral and spiritual side. On the philosophical and metaphysical side, however, allow me to say a few words. The whole universe in Islamic spirituality, in Islamic metaphysics, like a grand cosmos, as we say, Alam al-Kibir, the macrocosm, serves as a mirror for the reflection and manifestation of Allah Almighty's names and attributes. So the proof for the existence of the Creator, you don't have to search. You don't have to go through philosophical arguments, cosmological, ontological. He says you refer to yourself and see the signs of Allah Almighty, reflections of His all beauty and names in the horizon. So. The existence of the Creator is the very existence of the Creator Himself, in a sense. His signs are manifested everywhere. The, but the most powerful and the brightest mirror that can reflect qualities of Allah, attributes of Allah, is the heart of a sincere believer. So, the real being is Allah. Is reflect, prevail. Who are we? We are dependent on Him for our existence, if we even can call that we exist in philosophical sense. Since Allah has no neither opposite nor peer, His very being is a self-evident proof for His own being. Let me carry on with the moral and spiritual exhortation that we can draw from the story of Joseph and his guest. Mevlana Muhammad, by relating this meaningful story, appears to be alluding to the following verse of the Quran and Surah, uh, Shura 26, verse number 88-89. On that very day, when you gather together, meaning hereafter, resurrection or judgment, neither your wealth nor children will be of any benefit to you, but only one who comes to his Lord Allah with a sound pure, righteous heart, Kalb Selim. Therefore, in the Hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, we learn that there is a spiritual flesh in human body. If it is pure, 
clean and sound, the rest of the human body will be pure, clean and sound. That is the heart. But overall, the most essential teaching of this story can be noticed towards in the end, my dear friends. Searching for a gift deemed to be the best fitting for the caliber of Joseph as a most handsome, chosen human being as a prophet. Mirror is the gift. Physically, it needed reflects the beauty, indeed reflected the beauty of his face and outlook. But inwardly, it represents the beauty of the inner part of the human. So the basic guest was telling to him, telling, telling him, look, I brought my heart to you. And I have come to you fully and purely, inwardly, outwardly, preparing myself to you. So beauty of the body, beauty of the moral character, beauty of the heart, and beauty of the spirituality are the lessons of this beautiful story. Beauty of the moral character begins in the heart with faith and good intention, niya saliha. Iman and niya saliha. But goes on to develop and grow with body and mind, with good, good deeds, amali salih. Performing good deeds. So a moral character that has been refined through faith, good intention and good works is capable of conquering many hearts. When you face your brother and sister, you approach him or her with the purity of your heart and sincerity. The most valuable gift is the most useful and most meaningful act you can do and render to your friends and brothers. Let us reflect once again on the metaphorical dimension of the mirror. He, his guest brought Joseph a mirror, physically a tool to behold, beautiful face, and remain thankful for Allah. Remain thankful to Allah for that beautiful face. Metaphorically, however, it is a spiritual heart which has been cleansed and purified by repentance, then crystallized by the constant remembrance of Allah, our Lord. The most valuable, even priceless gift you can present to your Lord is nothing but a sound heart. Filled and inflamed, if I use Mevlana's terminology, inflamed with his love. Polished and crystallized with his remembrance and perfected with excellent moral virtues, good deeds and charities. In this case, let us all work on cleaning our hearts by asking Allah's forgiveness and mercy, especially in the first 10 days of Ramadan, which are described by the Prophet as days of and nights of mercy. Filling our hearts to their full satisfaction by Zikrullah, as the Quran says, Ala al-gulub. And no doubt, through the remembrance of Allah, your hearts will find the full satisfaction. Surah al rad chapter 13, 28. So refining our character, moral character, by adopting excellent moral traits, developing sound relations with our fellow human beings, with our sound hearts. These is the message among many others that we can extract from this beautiful story of Mesnevi. Let us concentrate on the improvement of our, ourselves, on the purification of our heart, on the purification of our soul and body, and especially in these days when we are in self-isolation. That is the best moment for us keeping us clean from all dirts physically. Let us also do cleaning best, taking advantage of this beautiful month of Ramadan and cleaning and purifying our inside. May Allah's love and mercy be upon you all. Let our hearts be filled and satisfied by His love, by His remembrance. Assalamu alaikum.